Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm finally tackling my pantry after three months of trying to get it organized. It actually was the worst day that I could have started doing this. It was my mom's birthday. I was baking a cake. I had kids running around like crazy, but I decided that I was just going to get started whether I finished it or not. So I hope that you enjoy this video and that it gives you the motivation to maybe tackle your pantry or a space in your home that needs some organizing. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. This is exactly why I decided to just take care of it today and stop what I was planning on doing for today. All of these snacks do not fit in our pantry and they need to get put away. Let me show you what's in our pantry and like I said, baking a cake for my mom for her birthday today. <laughs> and then um, I've got some stuff that I picked up from TJ Maxx here to just try to uh, organize the pantry and update the bins that I have in there. Let me show you real quick what's in the pantry. All right, so this is the pantry. I know a disaster <laughs> and it is about a third of the size that we had at the condo. So that is why, and my daughter's trying to close the door for me. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, but anyway, I, I used to have some sort of a system there you know, when we first moved in, but it's just gotten out of hand. There's just too many things in here. And um, it just, I need to get some sort of system back in place and update bins and move things around and have some sort of like, uh, like I said, system. So I'd like to have, uh, I'll just go quickly over my plan. I'd like to have all snacks down here. Um, I'd like to have, what did I say? Snacks and then dry goods and another row or another shelf of dry goods and then all baking up here. Uh, I'll kind of have to play around with it and then just see what works. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and just get started. I'll jump right in because I'm just kind of stalling here, as you can tell. I'm overwhelmed already just looking at all of this. But the sooner that I start, the sooner that I get it done. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to start with all the things that are going on. You just have to start. So let's get started now. Wish me luck that I'm able to get all of this done today. Okay, girls went down for their nap, so I'm gonna try to keep it down so that I don't wake them up. I iced the cake first, and if you're curious, I did a strawberry box cake for her with some Cool Whip, and then I just crushed some Oreos on top. Very easy, very simple, and very delicious. At the top for me. Never thought the loving would be easy, but it's all for free. Won't cost a thing, so it's yours. Okay guys, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna take everything out. As nice as it would be to have everything out to have a blank canvas, it's just gonna be too much. And just looking at it, I'm just like, no, that's not gonna work for me right now. So what I did is I took everything out that was on the very bottom and on this shelf right now. And since I already have an idea of what I want to do on each shelf, I think I'm just gonna work my way up. So for instance, the this shelf right here, I want to do for snacks. So what I'm gonna do is just start filling up this shelf right here. I need to wipe it down real quick, but start filling up this shelf with all of the snacks. I have a couple that are up here that a couple of bins up there with snacks that I can bring down. I'm not gonna use the bins, but I can put the things that are like snack stuff in those bins and start working my way up. That way, if I don't finish, um, I can always continue tomorrow, but I'm hoping to finish this right now today to just get it out of the way. So instead of taking everything out, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. Let me start with uh, working at the bottom and then going up. Get next to me, get next to me. Get next to you, get next to you. 
If you are new here, again, my name is Ashley and I'm a stay at home wife and mom to five girls living in Texas. I really enjoy posting a lot of cleaning, organizing and decluttering videos. And I do sprinkle in a few like decorating videos as well. If you enjoy that, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. So please don't forget to subscribe. I do post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8 a.m., sometimes 3 p.m. if I am not able to meet the 8 a.m. Uh, time. So I'd love to have you join. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know a little bit about yourself and what type of videos you enjoy watching. So I got this little tear stand from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna see if I can get away with just using one and um, not the other, because I bought two of them, but I'm gonna see if I can get away with using one. I don't have that many cans. And then I bought this little turntable from TJ Maxx as well. I'm thinking about putting like syrup here, peanut butter, so that it's easy to access. And then over here is where I'll put like the spaghetti um, containers and stuff. So let me see if I can fit that here. And then if I do need to use the other one, I'll have to play around here and see how I make that work. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like Alright, now I need to get all of this To fit into those two uh, bins Let's see if I can get that done You can do better Shoes off, you don't have to hide it. Baby, let 
Okay, I had this random bin up there that had like hot chocolate, um, some hot cocoa there, and a few other random items I'll need to find a home for. But up here, up here I have this little like under the shelf rack that has like tea and some um, like cold brew tea and regular tea. I did get this little, uh, let me, without making you all dizzy. I did get this little container from the dollar store, actually Dollar General, and I think I'm gonna try to put like the tea packets in here and then put this up there and see what else I can fit there. And then I am gonna need to put something here. Not sure exactly what, but I do still have some stuff that needs to get put up, so I'm gonna see what I can fit there. Just want to quickly show you everything that I took out that's either expired or boxes that I need to break down or just food that was um, getting low and just needed to be thrown out so that's what that is and then over here are all the bins that I took out and replaced with the other gray bins and then this is the rack that I told you the cans um, that I'll probably just donate I'm not going to use that I'll see if any of my family members want to use that and then this is just stuff that I'm not exactly sure where to put 
on the very top of our pantry. I'll show you here in a minute when I show you the after. Uh, at the very top, there is a shelf that you can't quite get to unless you're like on a step stool, and I cannot find my step stool. So I'm gonna have to wait until later to find um, a spot on the shelf up on top of the pantry. But let me go ahead and move these bins out of the way so I can show you the finished product. And I am just so pleased at how it turned out. So I'll just give you, give you all a quick overview of the pantry first. I wish there was better lighting, but hey, um, this is gonna work. This is gonna have to work anyway. So just a quick overview. And then let me just show you up here. So up here, I ended up putting all of the baking stuff in this little basket that I found in my closet. Um, so I put all the baking stuff in there, like a, well, like a, a cookie cutters and sprinkles and all sorts of stuff. And then some chocolate melt and then all of the baking stuff like brown sugar, flour, all of that's there. Second level, I have teas up here. I have uh, ri um, uh, pasta stuff over here. So like pasta shells and egg noodles and pasta sauce, everything pasta is on this side. I have some hot cocoa and hot chocolate here. And then everything rice and beans and pretty much anything rice and beans or legumes, everything is in this bin down here. I have like spaghetti, white rice, brown rice, breadcrumbs, bread oatmeal, and then my little turntable, which I'm very, very happy about. We've got some random items here. And then I did find another one of these, so I just put it up here. And then the cans worked out perfectly. I didn't need to use both of them. I just kind of shifted this and made some room to put a few there. I think it looks just fine. And then down here, I am so excited about because my daughters are constantly wanting snacks. As you all know, kids always wanting snacks. And I cannot tell you how many times they would open the pantry and say, but there's no snacks. Of course, we had all of this, but they were just all over the place and not in a spot where they could find them. So it's at their level. They can look for a snack anytime they want. They can come grab it. And I'm just so, so pleased with how this looks. And Actually, this is probably going to get changed because none of them seem to really be liking applesauce. I don't know why, because I love applesauce. So I may just move that and put something else there. I'm not exactly sure yet, but it'll stay there for now. And then over here, um, I have spices that I left there. I just kind of organized them by the spices that my husband uses more often up here or all the spices that I use more often, like for making Mexican rice and stuff. And then up here, my husband's obsession with Weiler's Light is hilarious. So I had um, one of the trips to H-E-B. I bought all of these for him as a joke. He does the same thing with me with like tomato sauce. Um, so I went ahead and bought all of those. I needed a spot for them now. Um, so I put them in this little container here and then put the other boxes there. And then this is my kids' favorite section because it's for making sundaes. We like to buy like vanilla ice cream and then they have all the toppings. I put them all together now. They were kind of just kind of um, spread out across the pantry. So now they're in one section they can find. And then up here is just like random um, extra um, like jelly and uh, mustard and mayo and all that. So just extra stuff. But guys, I am so, so pleased with how it turned out. And I am just feeling the stress of the pantry being the way it was just kind of melt away. And I'm really looking forward to cooking again. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you the motivation to tackle your pantry if you've been putting it off. It did take me about two hours, but I was able to get it done in one day. I'm so happy about that. And I can't wait for my husband to get home from work so he can see it for himself. But thank you all so much for stopping by. I will see you in my next organizing or decluttering video. Bye.